our exclusive MLB play yesterday, Guardians team total. That was a winner by the sixth inning, as a matter of fact. Hopefully you caught that and the four football futures I gave out. But enough about that for now. It's the weekend. I've got five Major League Baseball winners for you on Saturday, depending on where you live. There are three possibilities for the national TV game on Fox tonight. I will have plays on all three of those games. So if you're watching TV on Saturday, you're going to be covered no matter what here on the Power Five. So let's get right into it. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me or if you just want to show your support for the show. Greatly appreciate that. Now let's get the Power Five rolling. White Sox, first five Plus 130 minus, uh, versus the Twins. Uh, might as well get the ugly one out of the way first. Look, we all understand the dire state of the Chicago White Sox right now. 18 straight losses. But Garrett Crochet is on the bump tonight. And it's been a while since he's been a dog of this size. With Crochet, we're talking about a guy who's previously closed nearly even money against the likes of the Dodgers, the Astros, Definitely want to leave the White Sox horrid bullpen out of this. No question about that. Even I couldn't stomach uh, something that hideous. They got rocked again last night. Oh, by the way, that White Sox bullpen gave up six runs in the eighth. But think back how many times during this losing streak the White Sox have had a lead after five innings only for that bullpen to blow it. As a matter of fact, there have been 43 times this season, guys, where Chicago has been winning the game and still lost. That's by far the most in all of baseball. I believe with Crochet starting tonight, they can get the lead after five here, and then the bullpen is free to blow a game again. I don't care, but Crochet's not allowed more than two earned runs in 13 of his last 15 starts. White Sox first five as an underdog is the play on the money line. Now let's get into those three games on Fox tonight, all starting at 7.15 Eastern. Baltimore at Cleveland. This is the one I'm going to be getting, at least I presume, uh, living here in Cleveland. Uh, no homerism here, just facts. Remember, I gave up the Guardians over their team total last night. They have the best home record, best overall record as well in all of baseball. They've now beaten Baltimore convincingly, I may add, each of the last two days. I know many of you out there may be saying, well, the Orioles can't lose three straight. Yes, they can. I don't believe Cleveland should be an underdog here. Eflin, in his debut for the O's, allowed 10 hits. Gave up three runs only, but could have been more. We say they scattered. he scattered 10 hits when you only give up three runs. But he's facing an elite offense. And I get that Cantillo is a question mark for Cleveland. But behind him, best bullpen in all of baseball. No doubt about that. So Guardians plus 110 on the money line is how I would play that one. Uh, San Francisco at Cincinnati is another option for some of you on Fox tonight. I like the Reds' first five laying the half run. My stance on the Reds this season, well documented, uh, needless to say. Going by run differential, yes, I said those two dirty words. They should have a significantly better record. But if you're sick of me talking about that, you still have to concede that Saturday starter Hunter Green has been outstanding as of late. 0.57 ERA his last five starts. He's allowed just two runs in 31 and two-thirds innings. That's good enough for me. Reds first five minus half a run, around minus 115 shop around. But I give Green the edge over Kyle Harrison in that one. Kyle Harrison, the lefty starter for the Giants. Okay, Rays Astros is the third and final option for some of you tonight on Fox. Did you catch the morning wager yesterday with myself and Mark Zeno? Our show best bet was the Astros, and I said to sprinkle a little bit on them to win by exactly one run at plus 360. Guess what happened? They won by exactly one run, 3-2. For tonight, though, I'm going back to one of my old standbys with the Strohs, at least when they're at home, uh, over the team total. They are sixth in MLB in runs per game at home. It's a very nominal difference between them and number four, so uh, take note of that. This is a bet I cashed Wednesday, Houston, over the team total when they beat the Pirates. Tonight, they're against Littell for Tampa Bay. He has not been sharp on the road all season. His ERA and whip are way up on the road uh, versus Tropicana Field. To that point, last two road starts, Littell's allowed 12 runs. The Rays' bullpen, among the very worst in all of baseball, a reason why they're not going to make the playoffs. Houston team total over four and a half. You can get that at plus money. That's how I'd look at this one. All right, let's round out the power five with a play on Mets Angels. If you caught the Again, if you caught the morning wager yesterday, then you know I cashed the Mets. For tonight, I like the over. This boils down to two things. One, the Mets score a lot more on the road. 5.25 runs per game to be precise. That's number two in all of baseball, trailing only the Yankees. Secondly, though, their starter, David Peterson, he is not someone you should trust. Expected ERA for Peterson sitting above five. That's more than two full points higher than his actual ERA. 
I think it's over nine is the play out in Anaheim tonight. So let's recap the Power Five for you here on Saturday. White Sox first five money line against the Twins. Two, Cleveland money line. They're around plus 110. Three, Cincinnati first five laying the half a run. So first five run line. That's around minus 115. Four, Astros team total over four and a half. Again, you can get that at plus money. Last but not least, number five, over nine in Mets Angels. You can let me know what you think of today's Power 5 by commenting down below. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, my goodness, what exactly are you waiting for? Tons of exclusive sports betting content in this, including this very program, each and every day. Special reminder about that special offer going on at wagertalk.com right now. You can get the entire month of August for free. Head on over to my page wt.buzz slash bp for all the details by the way today is saturday i think i've mentioned that a few times here uh well it's worth mentioning i'm on a ridiculous 35 and 9 run with all plays the last 15 saturdays at wager talk kind of a random thing is a random occurrence i don't know i always save my best for saturdays it seems one more time head on over to wt.buzz slash bp for all of today's winners you have a great day and let's cash some tickets